What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of a Loot Store Plays. Today, we're going to be playing New World. I just made 96 gold coins. Hell yeah. On uh, a Loot Store, he's our Warhammer wielder. He's currently level 36 and requesting in Weaver's Fin. So I'm just going to hop right back into it and just pick up from where we last left off. We're going to go to Trial of the Chronicler up here north and turn in all those quests that we done previously on last episode. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, we were in Weaver's Fin. We fought some ghouls and some gators. Let's see uh let's see what our our fellow syndicate guy here has to say, Alchemist Rubis. Some find the smell of the swamp offensive, oh, but gal. I find it quite delightful. Ah, uh, but it's you, Scrivener Elude Stalwart, and you are prepared to advance in rank as well. Oh, and you are prepared to advance in rank as well? Yes, will you administer my trial? Indeed. I realize I'm dark, it's gonna get brighter as the sun comes up. Here for this, but I see no reason for delay. Gather me specimens from the various lost here in the fin, and I'll promote you to Chronicler. Yes, because we're actually capped on our rep. But we got to be level 40. Well, it's recommended level 40. That don't mean we can't go out there and bogart it. So that was the three that we did previously. Let's get some health potions because we actually, uh, we're kind of running low. We're scriving here right now. I've been using these healing potions. I got like 50 of them. Let's get 30. Let's, let's, let's spend half. I would say probably half. Hold on, before we do that. As soon as we get promoted, we'll be level 40. Okay, I see. We won't quite be able to throw on the gear until we hit level 40. But what does the potion look like? That's what I would... Uh, powerful healing potion. Uh, also a level 40 item, but these cost 200 tokens and 10 gold to pop. I feel like I save my stuff and buy a bunch of those. I'm gonna still buy 30 of these though. 30? All right. And that leaves us with 2,600 syndicate tokens and still 6,000 gold, so plenty of gold. Uh, strength dexterity gloves, no. Strength dex chest, no. They really want me to go strength dex. Nah, I want constitution dex. Strength is it? I mean, dex would be worth it if I could reach that first bubble. I probably should have seen if I could reach the first bubble before I just trashed that stuff. Intelligence, intelligence, and focus. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Okay. Let's drop some stuff off here at the storage unit. How's our weight? <laughs> I'm always afraid to throw that rawhide in because it's got so much weight to it. It looks like we got a schematic for a maple cabinet. We can te teach ourselves how to craft it by salvaging. Don't mind if I do. And then some food here. We did quite, quite good on food, I think, last run. We got to really go out of our way to get these recipes done at some point because, uh, that 14 pound cookbook's weighing me down. And another good question about this chronicler guy. Hey man, this alchemist rather, I, I need to find out if he has, um, he's got healing potions, but does he have? No, he doesn't, it doesn't look like it. Healing potions, no food or anything. I was hoping I could get some like, uh, buff food or something from him, but it doesn't look like he has anything like that. I could get a major rune of holding and make myself a leather bag. Increase the carry capacity. All in time. There's something else to turn in here. I think it's at the town board. Okay, and then I just realized out the corner of my eye we got some FPS. We were losing on that. Alright, explorers needed. We're currently on... Oh, look, it's yogurt, provisions, and steel ingots. These are the ones we're on track to complete. 
This is the one that we've completed that's no longer active. That was here behind this one. What does it take to make steel? Just doing all the town upkeep right now and then we'll get out questing again, guys. Let's see what we got as far as territory standing. Standing gain. I, I always go with standing gain. I don't rightly know the, the benefit of it, but surely it's not bad to go a full standing gain. Surely that's not a bad move. I don't know how much rawhide we need, but we'll cut the weight in half at least by processing some of this. Getting the field of material. Very nice. Okay. Steel. Can I make steel? We need charcoal. Charcoal and iron ingot. How much steel do we need? 50, it said? Or 25? Okay. How do I make charcoal? Can I make charcoal via the forge? Charcoal. Yes, I can. It said 25, right? So, let's see. To make steel, it's going to require two charcoal. So, we're going to need 50. We don't have 50 charcoal. There's probably some, no, there's not. Cause we would see it there if it was in storage. We would have to go out and chop some trees. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, we would have to go out and chop some trees. Reveler's pants, light pants. Okay. I think I'm probably gonna refresh and update the gear. I wanted to do that at 35 and I don't think I did. But with that, we could probably buy the mats for some of these provisions or cooking quests. I don't think there are very many here in Weaver's Fin, but I know the yogurt one was one. This one here, yogurt provisions. What we're missing is strawberries. Can we not sub out blueberries? And then sugar, which comes from provision containers. Oh, wow. Surprised we don't already have sugar. We need to make some light meals. Oh, these are light meals. We can make light meals now. Okay. Very nice. I'll make all of those. Hell yeah. That's a pretty legit food. Can we make... No, we would need to go get garlic to make garlic steak. Yeah, the garlic and broccoli. That's strength food though. This is 10 strength. If we could get pork chops. That would be better. Tier five apples, tier five raw food from provision containers, tier five provision containers. We might make a day of this, go find us some apples. Do y'all want to see how that works? Y'all want me to show here just off the cuff. We could do that. Y'all want to, all right, let's see what the apples is. Check it out. We're improvising here. New world apples. So this guy says gathered from provision stockpiles. They say tier one, two, three. I need tier five apples. How about this? We go to new world. There's a map resource here. We'll search and actually let's, let's do our filters even. Filter, search filters for apples. A, P, P, no, no. Plants, um, not herbs. Cooking ingredients. Barley, berry, blueberry, cabbage, carrots, corn, cranberries. Apples would be at the top. There's no apples on this. What about... There was another website. What was the other website? I forget the name of the other one. How about tier five apples? Tier five apples. A-P-P-E. Um apples 
Apples, 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 apples. These are ingredients. Where do you gather them from? List of raw foods. Where to get apples? Three to four. Crates and provision stockpiles. They have a one hour timer. They're key ingredient. They're scarce. Brightwood and reek water. Reek water provision crates yield sugar, apple, and string beans among other meals and recipes including milk the main area you want to focus is the southeast from the town around siren stan so right here in this area and this is in uh reek water reek water okay where are we currently at weaver's fin reek water where is reek water I'm looking at the higher level zones. Yep, here's a level 60 zone. I don't know if we can run up in reek water, guys. Brightwood was the other one though, right? We could probably do Brightwood. We could find the route in Brightwood. Oh yeah, we could do Brightwood. And we could even take down these along the way. And get a lot of Azoth. Be able to teleport around, huh? Okay. And then we actually even have a quest here. This is the main story quest. Okay, so what does it say about, what does it say about, uh, Brightwood? This is Reek Water, Brightwood. Where to get apples in New World? I think it has to be tier 5 apples, guys. I don't think I can get Brightwood apples. And these crates yield salt apples and yeast, among other meals and recipes, including milk. It says, there's one main path you can travel, hit an astounding amount of provision crates for a great farm. Start at the Brightwood Settlement, head west of Wolfbow, then follow further south all the way to Walsham, and then finish off at Shadow Mine like this. And there's a lot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're probably not all gonna be there, but like, okay. We'll refer back to this. Let's go get it. Um, this is Wolfbo, right? Is this actually the same map? Yeah, okay. So we need to go from Brightwatch to Iron Brightwatch to Iron Banner. So go ahead and fast travel. Actually, we got quests to turn in still, do we? No, no, we could just go straight to fast travel. And then our recalls at Weaver's Fin for when we're done. I may even just set recall over here to Brightwood. That was Brightwood, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it, guys. We're gonna get some apples. I'm gonna make some pork chops. And uh, I, I know oil was on the list. I remember oil being kind of common. I think I could just break some fish down and get oil fairly easily. So uh, literally apples, cinnamon maybe, but apples was the only thing I was faulting. If we just happen to be around the area, maybe we'll do the story quest as well. I think I totally dropped weight, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got leather on me from processing it just now, but I can drop that on my way out. I haven't forgot about the gear. I still want to refresh the gear. It's not super necessary while I'm gathering, but... What is all this? I don't need all that. I did want to try to sell these. B-O-E, B-O-P. This has life stealing and luck. That's why I didn't destroy it. Kind of like the idea of, uh, of that. Focus staff is legit. Here's all our strength gear. Strength constitution, strength. Let's get the chest on. I'm getting rid of the constitution gear. I'm going to go more full strength as much as I can. 13 strength to the boots. This is light. And these also have ward and sockets, so I don't know why I wouldn't just go with this. I guess the only reason why I didn't have this on was because I wanted armor. In there, in there. What about the gloves? 13 strength. Yeah, these gloves can go. Unless I want to go fully light. I don't mind being medium. Just so long as we got as much strength as we can fit. 
Yeah. So out of these, I would only want to replace the gloves. The only reason why the gloves are still here is because they got that almost 2% chance to find rare shit. I don't know if there's a neck somewhere that would have strength on it. That'd be nice. But I'd also like to see if maybe bags could have strength on them. I need to look at bags for real. So maybe we'll just blow all our money on bags. And just uh, continue saving, saving until we max out to find out what city we want to actually buy our first house in. I don't know how important or how much gravity the, the house buying has as far as like gameplay decision making and all that shit goes. So I may be sleeping on it, but if I am sleeping on the house, the way I see it is by the time I go and get the house, it's just going to be so much more. It, it'll feel so much better to have the house after having suffered as much as I'm going to suffer by not having it. It's a weird way of looking at things, but that's how I look. Okay, mercenaries burden. Weight of weapons and ammo is reduced. Azoth attune. When you gain Azoth, gain 4.1% more. And luck, 2% chance to find items from chests. I would cop that. Arrows... Prospector, arrows, luck, weaver, shells. I think this. Reduce weight of weapons and ammo. Get more Azoth. Get more luck. That's where all my money's going, guys. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt so good. <laughs> and then I'm going to sell this little doo-doo one. And then when it comes time to throw another one on, another one. I'll get another one. All right, sell. How, how many? Will I, ha I still have 89 up. Okay, so we can still sell some. Owned. Let's see what we got the most of. High sop, iron. Uh, this type of shit. Rawhide, honey, fire moat. Trying to think, what would be the best thing to try to sell here? Something I don't need. That someone else could really use. Oh look, here's some apples. Tier 5 fruits. Any gear? It'd be nice to sell gear. Gems. A fish. How much is this selling for? Place a sell order. These are selling for $4.99. Are you for real, bro? I will place mine to sell for that much. That's really how much they're selling for. That's not bad at all. Make uh, quite a bit of money back off of that. High stop. A lot of people selling this, I imagine. Yeah, 50. What about iron? Iron per bar looks like 75. 323 per bar. Yee. I could post all this iron. And then if I need iron, I could go back and I'm going to do that. I'm going to place all this. And if I need iron, I'll go out and iron or mine some more and really level up my, um, my mining. Give myself a little goal or objective there. What else can we get rid of here? Black pigment? I imagine this would probably be pretty pricey. Because it's like... Everybody dyes their gear black. That's not really a lot, I guess. Must be more common to get than I imagined initially. Here's a bunch of coarse leather. This should sell pretty well, right? 84? Not bad. Let's sell half of this. And then let's see about the, the gear. No gear. Okay. I'm going to sell half of my high sop as well. Just to drop some weight. I'm going to keep all the crafting stuff. Iron ore I'll hold on to. Silver I'll hold on to. Twisted cap spirals. These might sell pretty decently. Yeah, we'll sell half of these. I just let the price do its auto thing. 
I think fishing stuff might be worth selling. Yeah, this is kind of worth selling. People need to fish in order to get oil. And they need some stuff to get some fish. So bait sells pretty decently. And uh, that brings a good point. When I'm running around, I realize sometimes whenever I'm picking rocks and uh, just bushes and stuff like that, that's a good source for those uh, wood louse and uh, other different types of fishing uh, bait. What does oil sell for? Because I picked up a lot the other day. Decent, but that's okay. Um, Weapons? Should we look at our weapons? I was only really concerned with bag space. I think I should even, if I got any money left, go even more into bags if I can. Let's say can afford. Of the ones I can afford, these are the highest priced. 151 encumbrance on this bag. 111 on this bag and it's got 1.2 percent chance of luck arrows one percent luck with 100 encumbrance lumberjack mercenary alchemist plentiful shells and grays so i'd probably go for the luck one here this has 111 encumbrance, whereas mine has 103 and it has, no, I would stay with the one I got. Our luck is actually, uh, it's, it's actually a factor now. I feel like luck is actually a factor now. Let's see about the lowest item level item we have. Let's try to replace that. We got a 330 chest. 215 bag. I'm gonna hold on to that bag anyway, so. Let's see about replacing our chest. Apparel, chest, can't equip, can't afford. And then we're sorting by the highest gear score. And that's this layered leather coat. Dex, constitution, no thank you. Constitution, no thank you. Deck, no thank you. Strength, strength constitution, maybe. It doesn't have enough other benefits. Like if it had a oh, strength, 15 strength right here. That's heavy chest. Hmm. I probably want something light. Strength intelligence, strength constitution, dex, intelligence, constitution, strength. Strength constitution, constitution intelligence, dex, dex, intelligence, dex. All right, nothing there. How about weapons? Two handos. These are the can equipped, can afford weapons. Flat bow being the top top. Here's an 18 straight war hammer. Um, that's tempting. What is mine? Mine's 18 straight. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to what I got. Let's see about a gem for this thing, though. And then maybe we'll look at axes. Let's check out axes one more again. Great axes. This is the top of the top they got. 12 strength and focus. 18 strength. Ooh. This one has stuff on it, but it's got dex and constitution. This one's got dex and constitution. Corrupted Bane. This one at least is good at Corrupted. I'd probably go with that one, yeah. Corrupted Bane. And just watch the Corrupted get blown up every once in a while. It has Corrupted Bane, Bane instead of Slash damage, doesn't it? Because look at this. This is 18 Strength, 154 Slash damage. 18 Strength, 154. Okay, never mind. I'm going with this one. And then this one here is 17 strength. You got downgraded, man. This is the one. That's the one right there. Maybe we like let it look regular and then we'll lock. And then I'm just gonna trash this one cause it's obsolete now. We gotta unlock it. There you go. And I gotta get a gym and then we'll be straight. Consumables? No. Resources, components, crafting components, uh, maybe raw resource. No, let's 
Uh, what would dyes be under? Refined resources? Refined stone? Cut gemstones. This is it. Cut amber. Okay, so if 30% uh, of nature damage is converted to nature, or 30% of damage is converted to nature. Okay, so this is a nature damage. Uh, six percent damage and outgoing healing. While okay, so that's more healing while you're at full health. Sixteen percent damage whenever I am below thirty percent health. Nine percent damage after receiving three hits. Twelve percent damage when I'm below thirty percent health. Nine percent damage while my stamina is not full. Thirty percent of damage converted to arcane. This damage scales with intellect. Or whichever stat's higher. I'd probably do this one. Arcane weapon. Electrified weapon? Electrified could have a chance to stun though, right? But arcane's good against the incorporeal or the ghost or some shit. I think I'm gonna do electric. This is void damage. Ice damage. Ice would slow them. Hmm. Nature damage. Frozen 2. Oh, these are getting better. These you can sort by tier. I see. This is the top tier. 40% of all damage converted to void. 40% converted to frozen. Gambit. 12% damage while your stamina is not full. That could be cool if I'm light. I can dodge a lot. 40% of damage is converted to fire. You <laughs> could go fire. Arcane. I'm going to do lightning because I think lightning stuns and I do more damage to stun. This is going to be so fucking cool, guys. Are y'all ready for this? Real lightning. Here it goes. Check this thing out. Y'all ready for it? Look at that thing sparkle. That thing sparkling, guys. All right, Alt H. <laughs> zap. I need to go zap something. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's get out of here. What do we need to do? We need to turn something into the board there. It's just like a little bit of lightning. Can't really tell it's lightning, but there's a little bit on there. Think this is what i need to turn into oh we had potions light rations explorers needed 